Hello everyone, my name is Michalis, this is David, Romero and Marios, and today we're going to be going over why using steps as a way to increase participation level might be crucial for employers in a workplace setting. So Marios, go ahead. Uh, increasing physical activity in the workplace is really important nowadays. Uh, there's some really bad numbers happening right now. 43% of uh, British employees do not take more than 10 minutes, minutes of brisk walking every month. 18% of uh, US employees do not do physical activity more than once per week. And that's really bad because it can increase mortality, can have bad consequences of, uh, on uh, cardiovascular diseases, Alzheimer's disease, depression. And that's really bad. Also, uh, it's been linked that uh, physical, physically active employees can have better performance on the workplace. And that's really important for the employers that they always want better performance from the employees, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that can, can, that can happen with uh, using um, step count. Step count is a very objective way of uh, indicating someone's physical activity levels. That's really objective, that's really good. It can happen by using simple things like pedometers, uh, smartphones, smartwatches. Exactly. It's kind of what you were telling me, Romero, about yeah. what you found. Yeah, as you were saying, uh, physical activity is strongly associated with all these physical and mental health benefits. So I think it's really important that employers should actually try and help their employees to, to see these benefits, you know. Mm -hmm. But in the UK, we still see physical inactivity as a cause of one in six deaths. 39% of people aren't active. They're not meeting 150 minutes a week. So with stats like this, it's no wonder that employers should actually try and intervene. Uh, there's many interventions that employers might have tried already. Uh, as you were saying, the step count. I, I believe that this is the strongest compared to things such as sit, stand, desk, active stations. There's a step count challenge. This is a study that looked at uh, uh, step counts over an eight week period, and it showed that they had increased by 906 steps. So that's equivalent to 63 minutes of activity. So already we're getting 63 minutes towards that 150 minutes. It's definitely going to help. Yeah. You can yeah. probably see some pretty significant results, right? These interventions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's various interventions that have been found to be effective. Um, these interventions can range from sit stand desk, step count challenges, which Romero just touched on, and reducing sedentary time. Uh, research found that increasing the step count could be achieved in the short term. However, results were inconsistent on whether keeping a high step count could be sustained for a longer period of time. Um, I think around 3 to 12 months was the start period where it started to get a little bit foggy. Um, multiple tests concluded that increasing step count had numerous health benefits such as improving well-being, increasing work productivity, reducing fatigue and stress, and in a few particular cases, reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, which you both spoke about. Um, Sit-stand desks gave uncertain results. In uh, one test, there was an average of 57 minutes of sedentary time that was reduced compared to normal sitting desks, which is definitely good, but it was concluded that there was low evidence to suggest that sit-stand desks reduce sedentary time on their own. Um, there are some limitations. Um, the main one is that, uh, that quite a lot of these tests uh, use self-reporting figures, um, and this can lead to false results where participants may want to boost their numbers, make themselves look a bit better, um, or they could just simply forget about bits of physical activity they've done. Yeah, and I mean, there's clear limitations, and we'll probably go over them in just a little bit, but, a bit, but let's conclude everything we've mentioned so far. So overall, we can see there's solid evidence, right? That increasing a step count can reduce CBD, can reduce blood pressure, body fat percentage, and all these negative effects, reducing all cause mortality. So in turn, we can then speculate that taking, carrying over these benefit results, which increases, let's say, the activity levels within the company, can promote employers to implement walking. So how do we do that? Well, these interventions that you mentioned are really nice. Well, using the evidence, as well as our own recommendations, we can come up with a number of studies that we can do so. So it seems that having treadmill desk is something that promotes uh, walking pretty well, can increase the activity levels. So on top of that, we can also see that maybe implementing larger work breaks. Mm -hmm. So having instead of 30 minute work breaks, having an hour work break can introduce, you know, walking to these individuals during that time. Is that because like in a short period, in a short period of time for breaks, they might just be staying. Exactly, staying, staying at the desk, stuff. having lunch and stuff like that, whereas a longer break can implement the walking. And then the final strategy is any sort of financial incentives. This is really strong, right? Any sort of bonuses, awards or financial incentives can promote these workers, okay, now have a motivation to increase our walking. But there is clear limitations right here. So, so one is the budget. How motivated are the employers to in, in, you know, spend money on this if they're not gonna get clear results? And additionally, it is the motivation of the actual workers. How motivated are they gonna be? So yeah. there are still gaps in the literature that we need to fill over time. So what sort of solutions could we have? Could we have to get employers to just start doing it? Could we get them to maybe do a smaller group? 
and to see how that goes out and then, then they may be more inclined to do a bigger group as a whole. Yeah, I think that that's the best recommendation because there is not too financially straining on the employer. We can implement it into a small group of five to 10 people, see if the results are positive, see if they're getting increased cash flow into the business, for example, and then we can extrapolate into a larger number of people. So I think that's the best recommendation we can come up with for employers who are looking to increase the workplace setting by implement, implementing steps.